before we get into the video, we got a little bit of a plug, okay, for the producers and beat makers. So uh, check this out. Maybe I should go faster. What else he got in here, man? Woo. What's really crazy that I'm not even showing you guys is that he's playing the guitar for the whole song and he has variations throughout it. It's not just a four bar loop. Look how long this plays for. This is not typical. If you guys are producers, beat makers, whatever, you gotta get your hands on this guitar pack. Personally, guitar packs for me are vital because I don't know how to play the damn guitar. But a lot of hit songs right now, they got the guitars in them. Shouts to Lacombe, fellow Connecticut native. He's got this guitar pack and uh, I just showed you the free stuff. He has acoustic trap. Rock, pop trap, even ambient. He didn't have to do all that. So those six folders of guitar samples there, that's the top 40 guitar collection. Link in the description for that. Everything I made beats with in this video i just used the free guitar collection and there'll be the link in the description for that and if you want more goodies i'll have another link too so you can check it out if you're if you're feeling daring all right let's get on with the video die for you the valorant song i think this came out uh, a couple days ago let me see uh november 22nd all right well uh better late than never all right. We're gonna look at this from a music production perspective. If you don't know who I am, my name is Joey Nato. I'm actually a music producer, rapper, singer, uh, 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 YouTuber. And I make music that sounds like this. But all right, Die For You, the star of this one is Grabbits. He produced it, he wrote it. I, I guess he's singing it. Lucky Squad never give up. Let's get into it. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. I don't know why that happened, but it just did. So we, we gotta deal with it. Fire. Hold on. Let me uh, rewind this a little bit. Time slows down when it can get no worse. I can feel it running out on me. I don't want these to be my last words. Ooh. Okay, the rhythm section is really strong. Super simple. I mean, super simple. The electric bass, you know, is just dum 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 dum. So just simple eighth note pattern there. But there was this the sustaining string that kind of wasn't moving out of place. It was just the kicks are just boom boom boom. There's an insertion of the piano coming in here. He has a nice little soft voice to start things off, but it's cutting through really well. So I want to see where his range is going to go. You know what I mean? Like where the hook comes in, is this going to explode? What kind of interesting sounds are we going to get besides the standard rhythm section instruments? Let's see. Little reverse vocal. Mm. Like I promised to. He had a low vocal underneath his main vocal. Left to lose those little harmonies right there. He's definitely teasing that like something's gonna explode soon. The pianos might have been going down with them too. Oh, I love that clap sound with that kick. You hear that? Snares. This could be the day. Ooh, pitching up the snares. Oh! Oh, that is hard. Hey, I die for you. Oh. 
That was a fire breakdown. I was expecting like, you know, like the, the rock drums to come in, you know, with like really cymbal heavy and like electric guitars and stuff. And now we get kind of a, maybe a synthesized electric guitar right here. It doesn't sound like a traditional electric guitar for the second verse. But anyways, that drop was crazy, man. Those little like synth plucks that were in there. Dun, 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 That's just like a little plucky synth bass sample. That was hard. The, the, the kick started hitting a little bit harder than they were in the verse. I love that he didn't abandon the standard rhythm section that was going on in the verse and he, we kind of just kind of kept the same integrity of what he was going for in the production and and I don't know that that uh he didn't go crazy with his range either this will be the day I die for you he kind of stayed in the same range you know what I mean except for the insertion of day like the falsetto and then there was a I think there was like some kind of reversed kind of sample in there that was like like something like that Oh, he had a little synth. Yeah. Ooh, that's what's like really driving it there. This has such a bounce to it. Nice bend right there. Oh, now that's a real electric guitar. Just a really clean distortion. Layered vocals here. The distortion increased too while those vocals were going up. Okay. Mmm, the chords now. Mm. Woo! This is special. There's that synth bass again. Just really use with like a softer velocity. Feeling like there's nothing I can do. This could be the end. Oh, okay. He keeps tricking me. I keep thinking the song is like gonna do certain lyrics or go in a certain melody and then it's just like just completely completely tricking me here. It's simple, but man, it's effective. I love how the bass came back in, by the way. That's what I was like. Mm, there's a soft percussion taking the place of the kick. Doom, doom, doom. Ooh, that little screech. A euphoric type of rise effect. Okay, we can sing like that. Guitar is panned all the way to the right. Ooh, short release there. It like had like a short cutoff there, you know, rather than it kind of like fading away. Really abrupt. That clap has a ah, long release though. Ah. Wow, that's the same. Hopefully you heard something different in that song than uh, from what you originally heard when you heard it. You get what I'm trying to say. Grab it, you are fire, my friend. Yeah, that was insane. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Not up. It's a deal. It's just something that I dream.